Hey, I'm Rob, and I'm the creator of Speechy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use it to improve the sound of your voice for streams in OBS. I'll be using one of the most classic and affordable setups, a microphone plugged directly into the Focusrite Scarlett Solo interface. With this setup, we can achieve real-time monitoring while sending a perfectly clean and crisp sound to your audience. Let's get going. Step 1. Make sure that the input of your sound interface is not clipping, even when you speak loud. We want to use the entire dynamic range of your voice. Try being as loud as you usually are and make sure the LED is flashing green, not red. While we're at it, you might want to turn the direct monitor on so you can hear yourself. Later on, we will have to disable this so we can listen to your processed signal, so keep that in mind. Also, make sure you're wearing headphones and the sound isn't playing from your loudspeakers to avoid feedback. Let's go to OBS now. If your settings are correct, you will see your microphone fader. Let's click the cogwheel and open Advanced Audio Properties. For now, you want to make sure your audio monitoring is set to Monitor Off. That way, you are hearing your voice in real time directly from the sound interface and not from OBS. If you were to change it to Monitor Only now, you would hear yourself twice once in real time from your interface and the second time with a slight delay coming from OBS. Currently, by default, OBS cannot provide latency-free monitoring because of its missing ASIO driver support. That is why you will have to use direct monitoring while streaming, unfortunately, without hearing the final sound yourself. There are ways around this though, but that's a topic for another video. So, as I said, for now, we need to turn this to monitor off. Now click the cogwheel again and this time select filters. If you have any filters on, make sure to remove or disable them now, because with Speechy you shouldn't need them. Now click the plus button and choose VSD2 plugin. You can name this anything you want, I'm going to call mine Speechy. Now find Speechy in the list of available plugins and select it. Speechy is now running and is being applied to your mic. Let's open the plugin interface. In my case, the plugin window is a bit small, so I'm going to right click anywhere within the interface and set the size to 200% so we can see it better. Oops, that doesn't look too good, but don't worry, it's just a minor OBS glitch. Close the window and open the plugin interface again, all should be fine now. And this is where the real fun begins. I will not be explaining the entire interface and controls in this video, but I'm going to show you how to record a short sample so you can tweak the settings while immediately hearing their effect. For a more detailed explanation, make sure to visit the website. Ok, see these two buttons up here? This is where you record and play back your sample. I'm now going to hit record and say a short sentence that I want to use as a reference point. After that, I'm going to stop the recording. I'm usually a pretty calm and quiet person, but when things get heated up on my streams, things go pretty damn loud! And I also really like pepperoni pizza, and my fans are spinning somewhat loud. Alright, the sample is now temporarily saved inside Speechy. Now, it's time to disable direct monitor on your interface, so you won't be distracted. Open the cogwheel on your microphone fader and click Advanced Audio Properties again. But this time around, we are going to set it to monitor only. If you go back to Speechy and start playing back your sample, you should be able to hear it looping forever. And now it's time to make yourself sound amazing. I'm usually a pretty calm and quiet person, but when things get heated up on my streams, things go pretty damn loud! And I also really like pepperoni pizza, and my fans are spinning somewhat loud. I'm usually a I'm usually a pretty calm and quiet person, but when things get heated up on my streams, things go pretty damn loud! And I also really like pepperoni pizza, and my fans are spinning somewhat loud. I'm usually a pretty calm and quiet person, but when things get heated up on my streams, things go pretty damn loud! And I also really like pepperoni pizza, and my fans are spinning somewhat loud. I'm usually a pretty calm and quiet person, but when I'm usually a pretty calm and quiet person, but when things get heated up on my streams, things go pretty damn loud! And I also really like pepperoni pizza, and my fans are spinning somewhat loud. I'm usually a pretty calm and quiet person, but when things get heated up on my streams, things go pretty damn loud! And I also really like pepperoni pizza, and my fans are spinning somewhat loud. Ok, I'm quite happy with this. This is what your audience will hear when you're streaming or recording. 
Remember, if you just can't get your settings right, you can always ask someone else to make them for you and then just load up a complete preset. Now that we are done, let's save this as a preset. Speechy will remember these settings forever. Now close the window. Open the cog wheel on your microphone fader again. Open advanced audio properties and disable monitoring. Even with monitoring off, your microphone signal is still going out to your audience, as you can tell by the moving fader. And as long as Speechy is enabled in the filters menu, it's working. You can also double check that by seeing the interface doing its job. Now you just turn your sound interface's direct monitoring back on so you can hear yourself. And we are done for today. This is how you can get amazing professional audio even without expensive external hardware. Now, make sure to watch the other tutorial videos so you learn how to get exactly the sound you want. Thanks for the patience, and if you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the community Discord server. See you around!